We're going to hit three and four tomorrow, okay? All right, so it says write each polynomial in standard form, okay? Standard form, okay? If you go back and look at your definition of standard form, you're basically just sticking it in order. You're going to put the biggest exponent all the way to the smallest exponent. We are still working exponents in this chapter, okay? So you're going to go from big exponent all the way down to the smallest, and then it says identify the leading coefficient, which we have to do after we put it in order, okay? All right, so if I look at this one, you are going to look at your exponents on each variable. So 2, 4, in this case 1, and you're going to stick them in order, okay? So what is my biggest exponent up here? 4x to the 4th. Okay, so you're going to write first 4x to the 4th. Literally, you're just putting the purple guys in order. That's all we're doing. So 4x to the 4th. Okay, what would be my next one here? 2x squared. Negative 2x squared. All right, what would be the next one? Negative 3x. 3x. And then the 8 is still there, but you got to include them. But you don't have an exponent of a variable. Okay? Now, leading coefficient. So you put it in order based on the exponents. Leading coefficient. Leading. What is leading? 4x. Okay, but we just put the number. Whatever number is leading the way, right here, that's our leading coefficient. Okay, so our leading coefficient, I'm going to put LC for leading coefficient, is 4. Okay, now, it doesn't ask us in the directions, but just since we're kind of going over, if I asked you to also tell me the degree on this problem, what would your degree be? 4. It would be 4 as well, okay? So your degree, keep in mind, is this guy right there. So you also have a degree of 4. Okay, so a degree of 4, and your leading coefficient is 4. Is everybody okay with that? Okay, take a second and try 2B be on your own, please. Tell me what you got there. 7x uh, to the 6 plus 5y to the 3rd minus 2y squared uh, plus 10 plus 5. Okay, close. There's a couple things. One, your 7x or your 7y to the 6 here, did you, if it's got a negative with it, you got to keep it as a negative 7. All right, now there's something else wrong here. Do you know what else is wrong? The y, okay, the y, the y goes before the 10. Yeah, the y, you need to put the y before the 10 back here. So you need to have plus y plus 10, okay? Because the y, keep in mind, guys, the y has an exponent of a 1. So it's 6, 3, 2, 1, no variable, okay? All right, Tatiana, leading coefficient here. Negative 7, Emma, what's your degree? 6. There you go, okay? Leading coefficient, what's leading the way? Degree is 6 on this one. Yes, if that's not a negative, it's wrong. No, I'm saying for the leading coefficient. It doesn't matter if it's not negative. Oh, no, we don't care. It's just leading and what's leading. We don't care positive, negative, that's not our concern. What is leading? Yeah. What if there isn't a number for the first one? Do you go to the second one in here? Uh, there's always a number. So are you saying, like, if I took this guy off? Yeah. There's always a one in front, right? Do you see what I'm saying? So there will always be a one in front of any variable. Okay. All right. Anybody else have a question? There's good questions. Okay. That we're gonna stop there for today. We'll finish up these notes tomorrow.